Okay guys, I got some new stuff going on here. Take a look here. Got the new seat post. There's a springy seat post now. I've got it set where I think it's gonna work. Using my same seat, I'm not unhappy with the seat. I just need a little more spring. And got the new GoPro. This one's gonna be set up to pick up things scenery wise off to the sides and i may use it in other yeah, situations you guys what, another thing i picked up here for the gopro stuff check that out man you go with any direction with it you just clip it on to whatever you want to clip it on to and let's say i wanted to clip it here i gotta watch my pedals go around like those guys do or clip it here anywhere or if i'm out i could clip it on a tree limb i can clip it to a post anything it's pretty neat and you don't have to leave this piece on. You could just put your camera right on the uh, mount itself. What's that say? Same top. I'll put a link to it, guys, in there for, for you too. Nice quick uh, way to attach your GoPro to things. I picked it up as well. And it fits in here. Look at all this junk I got in here. I got everything I need plus stuff. <laughs> Today, we are going to another graveyard out in the middle of nowhere took you guys the one already um i want to explore that in a little better next time too this one like i say that's just interesting you're out in the middle of nowhere and they got gravestones in them back from the 1800s so i'm, I'm just interested in going in there and seeing who these people are and how long they lived things of that sort for some reason it's interesting it's also a little creepy because when it's out in the middle of nowhere but that's what we're going to be doing today, guys. Out the door by myself today. Everybody's down by the pool. So I'm going to try out my seat post, suspension post. It's got my seat up just slightly higher, which it really always has needed to be. I just have a hard time getting my tiptoes down. All right, let's see if I can get on this thing here. It's not too bad. Once I get on it, the seat goes down some all right here we go i'm a coming coming down the hill my granddaughter's recording me on this bike it's the first time i actually see myself on it Very steep hill. I haven't checked the grade of this yet. I will. Check out my new brakes as well. Yeah, I'll stop right here and pick it up, honey. <laughs> Got people coming too here. Okay. Right. Thank you. Be laughing at me. I'm gonna put this off to the side a little bit so I can get some of the beauty that we usually miss. And we're going straight up this hill from a dead stop. Maybe when I stop back, I'll get the uh, the degree of this hill. All right, we're on our way. Pedal assist this. Get some exercise. I haven't really seen how fast I can get this thing going. Pedal assist. Five. It's like about 31. Probably could pump a little bit harder. For those of you who wonder 
sure about the, the chatter, like you hear it right now, back 27 mile an hour. Between 26 and 31, in all wheel drive, you get a chatter. And I have contacted Walkie twice now, two different ways, trying to get information on it. And uh, the only information I've been able to get so far is from other YouTubers who claim they have contacted Walkie. Uh, I'm not getting any explanation why it does it. I don't know if it's going to cause any harm in the future. Um, but as of right now, it seems to be fine. But it's a uh, little interesting. When I was looking to buy this bike, they were in contact with me quickly, no problem at all. They wanted the sale, but now when it comes time to try to, you know, for support for the bike, I'm getting absolutely no replies back. And it's due to that one particular question. Why does it do that? Is there a way to stop it from doing that? Okay, so I'm in pedal shift five. I shift this down to sixth gear and I'm just gently pedaling up this hill. This is 11.1 degree hill right here. Very steep hill. So you could climb this hill in sixth gear with this bike. So many things about this bike are awesome, guys. That one little problem with the chatter sound. You know, it's concerning. <clears throat> I haven't noticed more wear on the front tire than the back yet. I haven't noticed any issues with the motors. It, it could be trivial, but they at least need to let me know that. I'm doing diet wise is just uh, eating smaller meals. I'm eating everything I always eat, snacking on everything I always snack on. I'm just cutting down the sizes of that stuff. And that's how I'm losing weight. So, by the way, I love this backpack, guys. I've just got all kinds of crap thrown in here, though. <laughs> Spare batteries in there. Excuse the snot. Got my glasses in here too. I'll try to cut out some of this snot here. I got my nose running every time I get on this bike. But here they are. This is the red pair. I like the blue ones better. But these red ones you can actually see a little easier on darker days. This is the second camera. Hello! These are my glasses. <laughs> and it is beautiful. Man, just look at the scenery, guys. It's just flat out beautiful. I know I say that a million times, but the, the color's coming now, so it's getting even better. So all I gotta, gotta do is angle my seat a little bit to get on this, and of course the seat suspension post goes down once I sit on it a little bit, so it becomes the right height. Here's my stop, stopping at the stop sign on tippy toes. Of course the brakes you're hearing now is the front brake, which wasn't squeaking before, now it is. Um, I'm not sure why. This is the DIY Island um, calipers on this. I had a Hyundai 
down the brake pads for it. If you go to walkie, they don't tell you what kind to use, but what they do show is the green um, natural metals, not metals, but whatever they use to make those that's supposed to be green <coughs> pads for sale. I basically just found those, looked up D D I DY Island calipers and found the brake pads that go on it. Now I bought the uh, the metallic ones. Can't remember what it's called. It starts with an S. They're supposed to be the better ones of the pads, but I don't know which ones are doing the squeaking. They got an in-between one too. And it, and it seemed to me when I pulled the old brake pads off that the pads themselves were crumbling pretty easy. So I'm thinking that was more made out of the natural materials. Now the back ones aren't squeaking at the moment. The front ones are. And I did not change the rotors this time. I'm hoping it was just the brake pads. Well, that's been a problem with this bike since about day two. I think it's because of coming down that big hill. run this has been a deadly road over the years so many curves and hills that people have a hard time seeing and uh, people have lost their lives on that road so I try to avoid it most they can this on top of having the suspension post for my seat to have a little suspension in the seat itself because there is absolutely none on this one right now they put them i don't know what they're made out made out of those little uh ball looking things you can see up in the woods there in the cabin up there hopefully you're seeing it now with this camera this time i came past here i couldn't see it so this is a two-part video here why don't we get out get some exercise I gotta keep the exercise thing going, guys. And two, I wanna check out this other graveyard. And then the first graveyard video I did, we didn't, it was really muddy, so we didn't go back in it. But I'm wishing I did now. So I'm gonna go back there again. But that's over a two mile drive back through the woods. I'll make sure I got somebody with me on that. I don't think any single person should go back in a situation like that. One individual I've seen. Not that I think there's spiritistic things that could happen, but you just don't know who's back in the woods. Well, we don't have a we don't have a whole lot of crime around the area I live, but we still have it. This graveyard is closer to the road, but it's still back in the woods, which is very interesting. This is so nice. I'm just gradually pedal. Pedal assist three, guys. Just gradually pedal up this steep hill. This is pretty incredible. Love this bike for that, for those reasons. If you can put up with that chatter, this is an excellent bike. Excellent knee bike. And it's down in price right now, farther than it ever has been. Pre ordered, $17.99. If you buy one to have a stock, I think it's higher. I think it's 18 something. The black ones last I saw need to be pre ordered.
camera pointing over there, you're going to see it. These woods are old. You can tell by how thick those vines are growing off of them. <coughs> it hasn't been cleared out, as you can tell, too, which is interesting. I mean, it has in the past. You can see how open it is. But it's been a while. But now you'll get to see some camera views of the scenery. And that's been irritating me. It's so hard to try to turn my body so you can see that. But, yeah, in my opinion, the best camera view on an e-bike is right over the handlebars. So I definitely got to keep that one pointing there. Okay, this is a gradual pull. I'm going to see if any of these brakes squeak. If any of them should be the front one. So this is all back here. Yeah, I'm getting nothing out of that. It's, it's literally the front. This is, if you're allowed to go in there. Oh, I really want to get some shots. I'm not really sure what's going on here, guys. I might have to go down and look at that other. There's another sign down at the bottom. This is a really small graveyard. I don't even know what road this is. There is a mailbox on this road, so I don't want to go on private properly. Seems like a farm. I'm going to go down and see what this other sign says down here.
blocked off too. Oh. Yeah, well, that's disappointing. I'm just not really sure if you have to get permission to get on there or not. I'm going to go up there and park. I don't see any signs that said no trespassing. Maybe somebody will come out of this other house and tell me if I'm not allowed to be there. There used to be a pull off up in here where it looks like people park their cars to go to the graveyard. Douglas, 1873. Let me see if that one is or not. I hope I'm allowed to be in here, guys. I haven't seen any signs. I'm not going to stay long. Forgotten by Herman, 1889. Oh my gosh, these are old guys. This one I can't even quite make out. Leaving, the name of that place I told you about, in that lake, 1873. 1893. I'm not going to stay long just in case I... I'm not supposed to be here, guys. Seacrest. I don't know what it is, but there's something about. There's one right by that tree. Glots. See, I, I recognize a lot of these names. <clears throat> it's a McGlot as well. Stewart. Writer. So I don't recognize that name. All right, guys. I'm not gonna. Stay anymore here. Here's the old one. Can you make out of it here? Right. Right. So I just don't know if I'm allowed to hear from 
on or something. June Douglas, 1873. Let's see if that one is or not. I hope I'm allowed to be in here, guys. I didn't see any signs. I'm not going to stay long. But not forgotten. Coming. 1889. Oh my gosh, these are old guys. This one I can't even quite make out. Leaving. The name of that place I told you about in that lake. Tree. Yeah, I'm not going to stay long just in case I'm not supposed to be here, guys. Seacrest. I don't know what it is, but there's something about. There's one right by that tree. McGlotz. See, I, don't, I recognize a lot of these names. <clears throat> it's McGlotz as well. Stewart. Writer. See, I don't recognize that name. Alright, guys. I'm not going to... I'm not going to stay anymore here. Very old one. I can't even make out all of it here. Alright, we're going to go. Cause, yeah, I just don't know if I'm allowed to hear a car coming or something. Little trip, guys. Very interesting. Yep, I bugged out fast as I could. <laughs> now the gate wasn't open, but I don't know if there's time to or time limit to be there. But you'd think this would be okay right now. Or it's possible you have to get permission from somebody. But I didn't see any of that on the website. So I assumed it's just an open grave. Anyhow, there's appears to be a lot of these around these areas. So I'm gonna do just a little series in between. I'm, we're gonna be doing the Mohegan series, but I want my daughter with me on that one. It's gonna be a long one. Until then, I think I'm just going to pop around and see some of these graveyards. I'd love to get back to that other one. I saw a couple of photos that was on the website 
1800, they've got some back too. Maybe older, I don't know. Jeez. So we don't see what's been broken. We don't see what's been broken, it's been buried in the ground. this type of suspension seat post on this bike because then you can't flip the saddle up. I do want to tell you they do make one that has the flip for the saddle. I couldn't find any reviews on it so I steered away from it for now. Uh, plus I think it's more to my advantage to get more of a straight seat post. It allows me to put my seat back farther one that was on there, the one that was on there was actually the, the actual uh, mechanisms, the hinge mechanisms was hitting the battery. Whereas this one I can go down farther with it. I'm gonna go left here. The squeaky front right brake. I'll replace those brakes, I might do that today. See how these other ones turn out. Her up the pedal assist five because I'm on a little busy roads now. And I think I just turned on. Turned off boss and run right here. I didn't really want to. Kitten. 
Teeter. This is Teeter, not Tucker. This is still taking where I want to go. Hey, we're good to go down now. Riddle Road is beautiful. This is Old Boss. Oops. Seventh. Let's see if I can pick up speed here. A little faster. Wow. I didn't know this hill was here. So it's been a long time since I've been on these roads. If you drive one in a car, you might not even notice the steepness of this hill. Definitely getting the workout. Probably should go down to six. It's getting hard. That's why I got into the 
solar stuff. I like having power when there is none. So I set myself up a couple, couple different stations. I got 600 watts on my house. The two different uh, charge controllers going into a battery bank. Just uh, golf cart batteries. It's just a basic setup. I can run lights and fans and coffee pots and microwaves and stuff like that. And uh, a couple small fridges. A couple small fridges I can run off of that. And then on my camper now, I set that up with 1200 watts. And 600 amp hours of lithium batteries. 3000 watt inverter. So it's, it's got the power. I literally, I literally ran my air conditioner with that for a while just to see if I could. So that's the kind of stuff I like to do. That's why I got into the e-bike too. I like being able to uh, have power. And after you pay for the bike, I can literally charge this with my solar. And it cost me nothing to fuel, basically. So that's the kind of stuff I like. It has nothing to do with being green or my political preferences. I do it because I like to do it. The butt still hurt. I'm not really getting the full extension I'd like to get. I really don't have my seat back as far as I want. I might move these handlebars forward just a little bit more. That'll help with that situation, I think. Need a little more space between me and the handlebars, I think. It's not bad. This seat, like I say, it's just not a cushiony seat. I love the shape of it. I feel like I got something shoving up in my butt like you do with the other seats. Push it on my prostate and stuff like that. But it still hurts. Brake pads are much better right now. Sometimes I just turn the camera to whatever I think is beautiful. All right, I gotta go past the dog here, guys. This little nipper likes to try to get me. I'll be on the lookout for 
seat still. I haven't been able to use the spring seats for the simple reason that I got the 60 amp hour battery and I don't have much space. I'll be hitting the battery if I try to put a seat that's got big springs on it. to this uh, braking too. You pull your right brake first just to slow down and your left brake to stop. And I'm sure I'm not doing that properly. It's what caused my brakes to get glazed. I don't know if that's what did it or not or it just could be really bad brakes. I don't know.
good. Keep me in mind if you're going to buy an e-bike. Sure appreciate it when you guys use my links. Helps out the whole family. Don't like begging for that kind of stuff, but it's a necessity, I guess. It's a necessary part of life, the type of work I'm doing now. the families down there. These brakes just like the squeak guys. I don't know what to say about it. Most of it's coming from the front, but I think I did get a little squeak out of my back yet. Gotta open this camper up here pretty soon. Oh! Whoa! Oh, it's me! It's me! Pop all! What are you barking? Back from my trip. I went to the graveyard. They had a gate up but i still got off my bike and walked in there and got some views it didn't say anything about no trespassing i don't know if you're supposed to schedule appointments to go in or what i just did it i didn't stay long because i didn't want you know get kicked out but we got to go back and get the I mean, 1800s quite a few of them in the 1800s in that thing <clears throat> maglots there's a lot of names i recognized all right i'm gonna go up put this up here All right, guys, pull it right up the hill. Throttle only. Can I make this hill? Throttle only. Wow, look at that. <laughs> That's a very steep hill. Let me go get the reading on that hill, guys. I'm going to test the degree of this hill here. <laughs> well, if you guys could see that. 17, about 17 degrees. <clears throat> Let's try another one. <coughs> Land meter one I liked before. Yep. 16, 17. I got one more here. Let's try another one. Get all this stuff out of the way. This is the original one. I couldn't figure out. Yes, yeah, it says 16 degrees, 17, 16, 17. Depends on how I put it in the grass. 18 if I push down on the grass. <laughs> so it's a really steep grade, and that thing just pulled right up it like it's nothing. It's, or steep degree. Not sure what the dis difference is between grade and degree. If there is one, guys, and let me know. But I just wanted to give you an idea how strong this bike is. It pulled right up that throttle right up that hey, there's one thing i forgot to mention guys i got those new enduro batteries in this and i'm sitting at about 33 percent 30 percent on this one here and 33 percent on on this gopro of juice left and i probably would have had to replace the other batteries by now so these aren't bad price is pretty cheap on those two I'll leave a link for you guys for those for those of you who like the GoPros. All right.